like Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like This is not the proper way we're supposed to start the video Pouring down raining right now We are in Biloxi, Mississippi now So the plan is, we gotta put the wheels on my Yukon, which is behind us And we just asked this hotel guy, can we do it up on his gazebo And he said, yeah, but we gotta hurry up Today, we are gonna be driving in the most tallest Squatter truck I ever seen in my entire life. I don't think he's gonna drive it on the strip. I don't think he's gonna drive it on the road. But we're gonna still do a review on it. We're gonna talk about it, see how it is. I might try to drive him, see if he let me at least. If not, it's okay. I tried to buy it. The prices was way out of my price range, so I don't want it. I wanted to blow it up and destroy it. I actually on Instagram and Snapchat, y'all was like, no, 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 no. Don't buy it. I still wanted it. But he said a crazy price, and I don't wanna pay for it. So we're gonna slide the wheels on the truck right now. Try to get into today's video, so I'll see you in a second. Damn, bro. Oh, yeah. What the f <laughs> What's in Milwaukee? What was that? You ain't record that. <laughs> I swear I heard that. I think this um, mic can catch a lot of things. <laughs> I swear to God, you heard me fart just now, bro. I just heard you fart, but did this camera... Bro! I think, I think it picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna oh, lie, y'all. These 60Y so heavy shit. After you lift for a couple of times, you, you got gas, man. What the fuck? <laughs> for the last two shows I went to, it has not stopped raining, bro. Like, when are we gonna have a good time at a show, bro? Like, what is Mother Nature doing, bro? Let us have a good time. Look, it's clear skies. But it's raining. You got clear skies. Bruh. We're only here for a good time, not a long time. So let us come through, have fun, and then leave. But I did just get a phone call. I just got a phone call that Biloxi police said if you over 48 inches, supposedly, that's somebody told me, they're going to tow you and give you a $500 ticket. We're going to see if they're going to tow it and give me a $500 ticket. So good thing I did not bring the blue Tahoe because if I brought that blue Tahoe, we would have gotten a lot of trouble. But this weekend goal is to try and not curve the wheels. Every show I go to, I don't know what it is. I always curve my wheels. When I get home, I got to fix them. It never fails i don't know why y'all it's because i've been trying to record and drive at the same time so it's like texting a driver you can't do it in the squad of truck so when i try to record i lose control and end up curving my wheel and not paying attention when it's so many people talking you trying to listen to what they saying and drive and stuff it just it throws it off so i'm gonna try to not curve my wheel this weekend if i do it is what it is it's gonna get fixed but i'm gonna try not to that's my goal i gotta show y'all something this guy right here won my giveaway with these four gatos look at him he put them on he put them on oh my god yo e he won the giveaway he won those ones for me. Oh my God, you so. did that. Jeez. Crazy. Damn, I just got here like five minutes ago. Let me live. The police is behind my truck already. It's time to go. Time to go. <laughs> He's still willing, bro. We are going to do a truck review on probably the biggest. We are going to do a video of the biggest single cab out right now, y'all. This thing is dangerously big like you gotta have life insurance driving this thing like i never seen it in person yet but just by instagram pictures and photos i've seen this thing is like over the board big hey zemo 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 about to make me get out of here zemo tripping bro hey zemo you going too fast dang what, what, what you doing the crazy part is it can move so i can't wait to see it move we get a video with god Dang! This is about to be crazy. He's about to drive it on the road, like. I'm gonna see if he let me drive it. You think he let me drive it? Nope. Bro, what the f Yo! You hear him? He said God. <laughs> Yo, I just can't believe, like, y'all took squat on a whole nother level, bro. If I was a police officer and I pulled you over and that, I'm taking you to jail. I didn't take the, I didn't take the bumper off to, uh, to get it off the trailer. No pictures do justice how big this thing is in person. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It works and drives just like a normal vehicle. You just can't really see. You gonna put a camera on it? <laughs> no. You just hang, you gotta hang your head out the window. Nah, I don't think you gotta hang your head out the window. I think you gotta stand out the window and put in cruise control. <laughs> What the f Come on, come on, come on. I can dead ass like. Yo, you oh, still can't. Man. I can't see you, you can't even see me. <laughs> hey, you, 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 you dragging something. I'm on the ass now. Can't get a pass now. I'm a cash cow. Keeping it brash now. It's trash now. I'm a spaz out. I've been killing my lows and living on highs. You see in the skies the proof. This, this. 
is crazy, bro. Like, look how he got to drive this thing. So look, did you help him build this? Yeah, I helped him. You did most of the work? No, nah, he done, well, it was kind of 50-50. He was more of the brains of it. Yeah. I was just there to help him put it together. Bro, look at this thing coming down the road. How in the world is the alignment straight? Yeah, you about to go in the ditch. It's really not that complicated. Nah, it's just like, it, it's just, this is something that you don't see every day. Yeah. So I'm still trying to soak it in as much as y'all trying to soak it in. Ashton will be doing a full review on this single cap right here. I'm going to have him explain everything I've done to it, how long it took. I know it took a couple months, right? Yeah, about two. Two months? Three. Three, maybe two or three, something. You must was good at math in school, huh? <laughs> Not really. You wasn't good at math in school? <laughs> what was your grade in math? <laughs> Wait, bro. How you driving this with no boats on this strut right here? It, it don't need any of that. Huh? Good. If you say so. What's your parents think about this? He kicked me out because he don't like squatted trucks. He told me if I ever bring it home, he's gonna burn it. So this don't even stay at your house? No, nah, I don't. <laughs> oh, so he's serious? Yeah, he's serious. I've never brought it home. Has he seen it in person? Nah, he don't want to see it. What? <laughs> as far as the lift, it's, it's really just tubing. It's just like scrap metal. We just built and welded it all together. And uh, we pretty much just dropped the whole factory suspension. Like all this is in the exact same place it would be if it was up here. So we just dropped everything down and then I I switched uh, these. These are actually off of a new body, Silverado. It don't have like the regular struts and cool springs like a 9906 would, and just made these little brackets for that. A, a lot of people were saying the steering wasn't going to work. There's no way it's going to steer. Um, the steering, we just took the rack and pinion. We unbolted it up here from where it originally was. It dropped it down, and it, it was kind of hard getting the geometry right because if you look up here, it's it's actually offset. We had to offset it and then space it back. And uh, yeah, for the shaft, we just made got some u-joints and then made a big shaft that goes all the way up to the the factory steer shaft it's just a shaft that goes up to the factory u-joint that u-joint would be down there usually you know if this rack was up high these are just hydraulic lines that go down to the rack and pinion from the power steering pump for the power steering and uh yeah uh, for a while we didn't have track bars on it so the lift would actually flex like you would be driving it and it would be flexing back and forth because it was one to fold. Yeah. So we had to put these track bars on it to keep it from trying to fold. So it, it really was, those track bars got a lot of weight on them right now. Cause yeah. Cause like when you put it on its own weight, it was trying to like fold the lift out. Mm -hmm. I, I'd say the hardest part was figuring out the geometry of everything. Like, cause if you look up here, these are like all the, where the upper control arms mount, they're like offset from the strut bucket. So just figuring out how to offset it and where to put it to, uh, to keep the spindle straight up and down. Starting from scratch, you know, it's not like putting a lift on where you got instructions and yeah. stuff. It's, it's just building as we went. Literally, I swear to God, this is the first truck review that I literally don't have questions because I'm so speechless. Like, I can't believe I'm really looking at this right now. This is just not something you see every day. Not, this is not normal at all. I didn't, it was kind of a crunch because we decided we want to do this pretty late and I wanted to get it done before scraping. I wanted to get everything like done, like, like plasma cut, all the cuts like really nice and then welded up really nice but we kind of like everything we put on there we just threw it on there and welded it really like really quick so it really it wasn't done as good as i wish i'm gonna build another one for next year it's gonna be better is it gonna be taller yeah so the back is just factory suspension or stock suspension it's just got no blocks but it, it's it, it looks so low it's just 37s yeah on the stock and then we got two inch spacers uh 26 by 14s got the wheel lights on it too the wheel lights work the switch is in the fender oh my god <laughs> <laughs> they got easy access. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. You gotta get in the cab, turn one. Where did you even find this truck at? Who truck was this? I told him I was gonna, it was gonna be the most squatted truck in the world. We got a car coming down the road. The truck sits so tall that he up under. Hey, go to the doctor. Do you like this thing right here? Do you think I should buy it? He told me, he told me ten thousand dollars. I swear. I, I met him on Face Marketplace. He said. $10,000 in. I, I don't think it's worth it. If you made $10,000 on it, you do what you want with it. Huh? I said if you got $10,000, you do what you want with it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Fun. All right. So this is the moment of truth where I'm about to drive this thing. I don't know how I feel about doing this, but we still going to do it. I just know this thing going to be nerve wracking, y'all. Hey, let me ask you. What you think about this? You like it? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> That man know dangle well, he just lied. He know he don't like that. <laughs> he just didn't want to talk to us. He just want to say, yeah, keep it moving. Where did you even find this truck at? Who truck was this? The actual mayor of my town. This was his old truck, the mayor. And I bought it from him and he asked me what I want to do. That's how I want to build a monster truck. I told him I was gonna, it was going to be the most squatted truck in the world. You said this was the mayor? Yup. 
This is his old truck. What did he say when he saw it? He ain't seen it yet. He ain't seen it like this yet. I still gotta show him. Do you got his phone number? Can we please call him? <laughs> I want to see his reaction, please. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna see if, if possible, if I could Facetime you and show you this truck. You remember the truck I bought from you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I was gonna show it to you and get your reaction if, you, if you don't mind. All right, come on. Yeah, I'm about to turn the camera around. Dang it, boy! <laughs> you like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's big, ain't it? Yeah. Where are you at with it? I'm in Biloxi, Mississippi. Are you serious? How hey, you want to buy it back? I wouldn't know how to drive it. <laughs> you can't really see that good out of it. Hey, and another thing too, uh, uh, I couldn't get in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hard to get in it. And then another thing, I couldn't see to drive it. No. <laughs> that's the same one you used to have. Though. That's that's it. Remember, I told you I was gonna make it a monster truck. Hey, yeah, that looks good, man. <laughs> you never did fix the headlight. No, no, I was too distracted on building the lift. Hey, that looks good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, send me a picture of that. All right, I will. All right, thank Wait, you, y'all have fun. Oh, look, it's driving. I forgot to tell you, it's fully drivable, too. How you keep the butt in from dragging? <laughs> we had to take the bumper off. <laughs> Golly. Man, that is cool. How'd y'all get it down there? Uh, uh, we, uh, we towed it on a trailer, a gooseneck trailer. Good for y'all. Good for y'all. Go ahead, on man. That's cool. That went a lot better. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. He he like it. He digging it. I thought he was gonna be like, what I, I, did you do? I, we need to, I think we need to get him to unban squat in Louisiana. Since he like it, he the mayor. We can get him to unban squat. Oh, Are you serious? <laughs> oh, what's his name? I don't want to say his name. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, we we need you to unban squad Louisiana. We need you to do that. Just just try your best to. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna put this one on the road, but we got some nice ones out there that can be road legal. You know what I'm saying? This one not road legal, but it's still fun to look at. So it's a yard ornament, right? Yard ornament. Yeah, pretty much. I know how I'm gonna do this. See, nobody thought about this way. I'm gonna make it easy. Yeah. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> I would never, ever, 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 ever want to be the squad. Look at this. He is standing on top of the lift kit. I'm gonna walk six feet in front of you. Don't All run right. me over. Let me see if you can see me. I, I definitely can't see you. If somebody were to like get in front of me, you can't see them. Yeah, <laughs> that's not good. What the? F if I try to look, I hit my head. Look behind me, bro. I'm literally looking at the ground. Matter of fact, hey, it's better. It's better than driving backwards than driving forward. This is how he wants to do it. This famous moment. He loved driving backwards. Because he can never see forward. The only thing about this is, if you do it this way, your neck, your back, your bones is going to hurt. You got to sit crap back your butt. It's not for real. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. All right. How fast was I driving? Like 20? At 20? One point, at one point, you were going like So 20. how fast you trying to go? Uh, fast as I went is about 20, about as fast as you went. I could maybe try like 30. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go 60. 60 what? I bet you I can make it go 60. Oh, by yourself you can. All right, so let's see how fast you make it go. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna let Ashton drive it now. <clears throat> oh God. I feel like I'm trying to climb up a mountain or something. God. <laughs> Jesus. Bro. Right now, we are going 20 miles per hour. I think we can go 40. I think we can go 40. I really, 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 really want to blow this truck up with Tannerite, bro. I think that'd be like a good video idea. Why don't you want to blow it up? <laughs> Everybody wants to blow it up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, man, wait a minute. <laughs> Bro, you literally see nothing. Like, this is my eye view. I'm so surprised that this thing has not kachow yet. Like, oh yeah, the tires is burning for sure. I smelled the burning when he was coming back. We about to burn some more rebel. Oh, I'm stuck. We stuck. Uh, gonna... I think we stuck. I swear. Oh, he ain't got no four-wheel drive. We stuck? I think we stuck. <gasps> no, let the car go. Tell him go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I ain't trying to mess the man truck up because we're going to definitely gonna have to buy it. Oh. Oh. Uh-uh. Psych, we ain't stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you better Shoot. back this thing on up. That, that's what I'm about to do. Look, 
That's the best thing. That that's I the have. best way you can see is back it up. Hey, y'all was scaring me when y'all going that fast. I was like, man, that thing breaks. <laughs> <laughs> I said the same thing. I said, if it break, we just gonna have to buy it. Yeah, right, he sir. said, that man said, he said, if it break, we gotta buy it. This end is gonna make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, do y'all the best. Follow me on Instagram at Poppy Clutch. Make sure you follow Ashton on Instagram as well. What's your Instagram, bro? Uh, it's Ashton and Malone. And if y'all want me to buy the truck, go spam his DM right now and tell him sell it to Poppy Clutch, but not for 10000 for a better price, and I'll buy it because I will destroy this truck with Tannerite if he let me buy it for a very, 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 very good, reasonable price. I will destroy the thing, find some fill, blow it up, and we're gonna make some good content out before I blow it up. We're gonna take off road and do stupid stuff with it, and then we're gonna blow it up. No, I would not build it. No, I would not do anything to make it look good. I'm gonna strictly keep it exactly how it is. I think we gotta bring some action to the channel, and I think the action will be blowing this thing up in a field like this. So if you wanna see that happen, DM Ashton right now and tell him sell it to Poppy Clutch for a reasonable price, and we will make it happen. Make sure you buy your wood lights, your merch, your rock lights, everything in the link down below in the description as well as in the comments. I'm running a sale on my website right now, so go buy your products. If you buy anything on my website, I'm sending you a gift right now. So go buy something off the website and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Jacket and man's abundant. The point of the road was banned and rugged. Hushing, I'm plotting no pants in London. The products are not being scared of some judgment. Gotta stay in the cut. Cut you off if you ain't making the cut. Couldn't tell you who the hell is behind us. You start to forget when you stay in the front of us up.